What's up everybody? I am Chasing J. Miles and today we are in Farmers Branch, Texas, which is a city within the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. Um, I'm going to show you a home that I am currently remodeling. Homes in this neighborhood, I mean, even though that they're from the 80s, they have been very well kept and a lot of them have been remodeled. And so that's what we're doing. They typically sell, I mean, they're selling for upwards of 400,000. And so it's definitely a desirable place people love moving here it's in demand and so we're gonna check on the progress and see what's been done I've had this property um, we've been working on it for about a month now and you can see the outside as it is right now but here's a picture of what it looked like before Yeah, so you see there's some improvements being made. Now, one thing, if you are planning on moving to Farmer's Branch, um, they require a certificate of occupancy for any new resident, whether you are renting or you just purchased a home. Now, something that I recommend is that you apply for this before you actually close on the property or move in because the city has to come out and inspect it. And if they see some stuff, then some things are gonna have to be fixed. They're gonna require you to pull permits and all kinds of stuff. So we actually ran into some issues with the city and it and it held up work for a little while but things are moving back forward back in progress you ready George you all know George what's up guys welcome <laughs> all right let's see what we got okay Okay, so give me the rundown. All right, well, as you know, uh, the city asked us to bring in an electrician and inspect yeah. that everything was uh, safe, basically up to code, and nothing was anymore. For example, uh, to begin with, the panel was in there, what is the laundry room, Right. but code requires three feet of clearance on every side, and that clearly wasn't up to code. So that alone had to be moved. So that had to move. Once you move that, you have to put everything else up to code. This is all new wire. All the old wire is out of the house. Everything you see here is new. The boxes, the wire, everything. And we're making obviously new holes for switches and things like that where they need to be uh, per code. The electrician went ahead and already started doing, you know, placing the, the can where the lighting will go. Right. So all those blue boxes that you see, that's where the, the lights will go. Something about this room here, it used to be a one car garage. When I bought the property, they had already converted it. So when the city came out to inspect it and do the certificate of occupancy, they were like, this has to be converted back to a garage or y'all have to build a whole new garage. Well, of course I was like, I'm not doing that. I bought it like this, it was already converted. And so their whole thing was, well, you need a permit for that. And in order to even have it converted, a permit would have had to be done when they originally converted it. I'll show you the panel out here, and I don't know if it's for your video, but you can actually just see it. Uh, yeah. When he when he told me that, I'm like, bro. I'm I was like, like why? Is that a thing? Why put that? electrical stuff yeah, outside? Yeah. But these yeah. are exterior boxes. Yeah. yeah. They'll have, so they're they're going to be working underneath it. They they need a hole big enough for them to be working. Right. Right there. Um, so as you can see, it's going to come in from where, kind of where the AC was, mm -hmm. and they'll have to dig that, and then they'll have to seal it back up and and um, and just finish it up like this. Okay. Um, the thing with that is that that's what I wanted to, to to talk to you about. It's that's a separate price from the plumbing. The plumber doesn't do that. It's a trenching company that has to make the tunnels for him. <laughs> um, so that I got a quote back for fifty four hundred on that for just the trenching for the trenching. Well, what can we do, right? I mean, we I can't do anything. Yeah. So. Um, so as you know, we're gonna move this wall mm -hmm. over three feet. Um, I think the best thing that we're gonna be able to do with this is gonna make the toilet here. Okay. Because of this window. Because I can't. I wanted to put the the shower here, right? But then it's gonna be yeah. kind of awkward. Um, so I wanted to do the toilet here and make the shower go this way. 
Is there, will there be enough room? Yeah, yeah there'll be enough room. Yeah, because we're going to have it three feet that way. So it'll still be a five, sh a five foot opening. Mm -hmm. The size of a tub, but we'll make it a shower, a standing shower. Right. But then that would only leave enough room for... Were we going to do one vanity or yes, two? Yes, we're going to do one vanity with a longer... Yeah. With a longer top. Maybe it's okay because it won't feel this small anymore. Remember, this wall is going to be pushed back that yeah. way. So you would have an entrance here. Your, your door would pull out this way. And there's enough room with that vanity being here. Yes. Okay. Because it'll be, the vanity will be over there. Right. The wall will be, so the entrance is going to be here, but this wall is going to be moved that way. Okay. So that's, that's the option. It. Yeah, I think. So you have a just, toilet, yeah. shower, vanity. Mm-hmm. So I need a whole rework of the budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like, do. so when, can we have the inspector come to check this electrical? The elect uh, he's gonna call him. So the plan with this is have the have the plumber come in, move the stuff. Then we can move this wall, mm -hmm. and he can wire the wall. Oh. He can wire the wall, and then we'll call the rough. So they'll inspect the electrical and the plumbing around the same time. But again, if you want to make some changes, you know, that would be. Okay, I'll figure out by the end of the day. You know what would be cool if we could have those. Um, rainforest shower heads coming from the top yeah okay but I need to price them and do we know anything about the HVAC well I know that it was working fine so that that I don't think we need to do anything with okay yep that was all working fine I tried the heat the heat was fine and we tried the AC also so okay it was working fine all right y'all so more money but nonetheless I mean I'm just happy that you can get back to work and and get this project finished here soon yeah uh, so thanks for tuning in go ahead hit that thumbs up button be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the next update I will talk to you soon